ready everything new in the sun here this is going to be maybe a friday flying flying friday video we shall see this is the uh Kydang k70c quadcopter and you'll see it doesn't have a lid on it and i put a great big massive screw through here if you can see that because the arm broke and i also had the glue i glued and taped this one with super glue the plastic was cracked on it and i actually have a, a cracked blade somewhere one of these blades is cracked at the end Anyways, I'm going to take it up. I don't know if the... I've been having trouble with my battery. The battery itself shows 8.4 volts. So it's a 7.4 volt uh, 2C battery, 2 cell battery, I guess it is. Um, but uh, <clears throat> it shows 8.4 volts, so it, that should mean it's charged. But I think it's only charging one cell. I think I got a bad cell or the one cell is not charging. I'm not sure. So I think the battery is going to die real quick as soon as I start this. One thing I did notice when with the lid off it is that uh, it's actually got a couple of different ports here on the the motherboard here. I don't know what those are for, but anyways, the antenna also is very short for a 2.4 gig antenna. This should be, I think, about that long. So I don't know why it's so short, but you could get a lot, a lot longer range, I think, if you extended that. So, uh, anyways, without further ado, I'll. Uh, sync this up behind the uh, controller and we'll see if it flies for more than 30 seconds. Well, the problem I have, this isn't taking off, and the problem I have is because the gear is slipping here. You can hear it slipping. So it's not, it's not rotating very much. So I'll take that engine pot off and maybe get a new gear for it. So this is a toy grade copter, so that is that's what you get. So this is the, the pod that's slipping. I'm going to open this pod up. And uh, I did go ahead and order a new part from banggood.com. They I, I originally bought this from Litaki, but I couldn't find the spare parts on Litaki. So uh, Banggood has all the extra parts for this, which is really handy. It has the, the engines, actually, and everything. I actually went ahead and ordered... Um, one extra engine and um, two two gear uh, sets. Um, that way, if one more breaks, I'll have a spare. This uh, this motor here actually looks very hot, sw well, hot swappable. <laughs> um, looks very swappable. Looks like you can just unplug it right from here and put in a new one. So that's really nice. I think I got a clockwise motor. You do need to select what kind of motor you need. Um, and I think I got the, the clockwise one. Um, so I'm just hoping that a clockwise motor will be the one that burns out on this. I got a, I, I pretty much got a 50-50 chance. Not quite. There's two of these motors go counterclockwise and two go clockwise. So.
chances are good that I'll, I would burn out the wrong, or the, the one that I happen to have a, a motor for. It's always good to have a couple of spare parts, and it was only $5, so um, I figured I'd get it while I was getting the, uh, the gear anyways, because it takes so long to ship from China as it is, um, but I'd rather just order one now and, you know, Hopefully I won't need it, but I'll order one now. I have some plans for this uh, this quadcopter as a base. Um, I was able to repair the arm on it, and I think I'm going to be using it. it it's very powerful. It, it, it lifts my Garmin Verb. So I, I really want to keep it going. So I'm, I, you know, it's a good platform, and I could um, I could move it to screwdriver isn't fitting there. I could take all the engine pods off and move it to, you know, a balsa wood platform or something, um, but uh, it's just as well I'm able to repair this one, so um, if I keep this one in decent repair, it wasn't me that actually crashed at that time, so I'm not worried about me wrecking this any further, um, and I think it's a great platform. Once I get my little camera, especially my FPV camera, and my little uh, just standalone camera, I think it'll be a really excellent um, FPV platform. So I'm just trying to figure out what all screws I need to do, take off to get this thing off here, so I can get it the gear. We'll take the engine pod off here, and like I say, this quad is. You know, it, that, uh, that shows, uh, you know, that the quality of this quad, that the strength of it, that I want to, you know, keep this quad up and not, uh, not just trash it. It's, it's not, it's not a throwaway. Um, not as much a throwaway anyways, like some other quads. So you take this bottom plate off, drop these screws out. The long screws were from this, which was from the uh, old guards. Now, I need to get this pod out. And, I'm not sure how to do that. Ah, okay. I see I actually cracked a blade there. That might actually be my problem. I may not have a gear problem after all. Well, that would be handy. If I did not have a gear problem, uh, maybe this this just this blade is just slipping. That would be excellent if that is all it was. Not sure how you get this thing off. Oh, there we go. It just pulls off. Okay. So maybe I didn't need to take that off after all. So. Now I need to figure out how to get this thing out. Maybe this thing just comes up. Yes, no. I suppose I could read the manual. I do have the manual. It's quite delicate. You got to um, turn the little cap here, and there's a little pin that pulls out, which you probably can't see. And uh, don't want to lose that. And then this should come up. Huh? And this should come off. Okay. So yes, it was my propeller that was broken, not my not my gear. Well, that is good news, because I got four brand new. Whoops got four new uh, blades. It does look like these are lightly oiled as well. So that's something hot to remember. Well that is very good news. That means I just pop a new blade on there. Uh, 
Now there are uh, different blades. There's uh, clockwise and counterclockwise blades. I have to choose the right one. So this blade matches the profile. So I'm going to put that one on. If the blade's not going in the same direction, then it's not going to fly. Well, that I am very, very happy with that. That is very, very good news. So I'll put that on there. And I put my little lock thing on here. And I'll need to put the pin back in. This is the tricky part. Now what I got here is a wall oil. It's actually for um, a hair, my hair clipper. It's just a light, clean oil. Um, so I'll just put a couple of drops down there. I'm not worried at all that there's too much. Anything that gets down there is going to be better for it, I think. And that'll just uh, let it run smooth. I might do that for the other ones too, just give them a drop of oil. So here I go putting the pin back in. It's a, a delicate procedure, and now I gotta spin this lock thing back around. There we go. It just clicks in place. Now I can put my cap back on. That just slides right down. Look at that! Brilliant. Now. I actually didn't have to take this part off at all. See, yeah, this is completely broken. You can see this piece broken off there. So I, I might just put a, a couple drops of oil down in here. Um, but yeah, I, that's it. Leave it like that. My my motors are still good. I put a drop down just right on the end there. Yeah, a little extra isn't going to hurt it. Give it a couple of spins. Excellent. So I'll put my plate back on. I'm going to run the, uh, the power cable through it again. And you basically put all your screws back in, you're good to go. be able to put this back in now. Plug it in straight down. Good firm there. Now I can put my longer screws go in the end here. These are important because these actually hold the pod on. Alright, we'll just tuck that wire in there. And oh forget about these screws here. Drop those down the holes. And one for here. Perfect. You want to make sure you put these in because these are going to hold the hole inside of the engine, uh, the motor pod, nice and tight. Keep it from vibrating. And I'm just using my the screwdriver that I actually got with the K70 to put the screws in here. It, uh, I don't find, it's just a Phillips, but I don't find it fits exactly with these screws, so sometimes it slips, so I, I like to use my, a bit more, well, it's a pretty cheap set, but it's a kind of a more uh, finer, uh, made to uh, higher specifications, higher tolerances, and so it works a bit better on the screws, but uh, we, when it doesn't fit, you can use the stock one. Alright, we'll put our base on it, and this just keeps all the wires together. Should snap in nice and firm there. Alright, and that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the the yellow caps off the uh, the rest of them, and I'm just going to put a drop of oil down there, and 
I don't know if I can get at the uh, the bottoms of the other ones, but I'm just going to take the other ones off, put a drop of oil on there, and uh, just for just to be safe and make sure I don't have any other props. I had one prop that was damaged. I don't know where that prop is now. Now there is a hole, it's a screw hole I guess, but you can drop some oil down there. So I'll just drop oil in there. One thing I did notice is that there's actually a little washer in there. So you gotta put that guy on. And I've used up both of my uh, counterclockwise rotating blades now. Because both of the ones that were broken were the, the counterclockwise ones. Which is fine, that's good to know. Can't afford to break in another counterclockwise rotating one. So I'm going to have to take that other blade off and uh, put the little metal bracket in there because uh, put some more oil in there. We obviously don't want uh, that prematurely wearing. And that is, that is uh, how to replace. Well, it wasn't really a how to, but it was kind of a, what I did to replace the uh, the propellers here. Got them all oiled up. So I'm going to take it out for a spin now, see if it works. See if that fixes it. And here we go, guys. This is the main flight after fixing the propellers. See if this fixes all our problems. All right, we'll point you up in the sky, guys. It's working well. I think it needs to be calibrated a little bit or something. The gyros need to be reset or something, but... Acting a little strange. I'm not sure what's up with it. It's not flashing. <coughs> Certainly a flying a little odd though. I don't know if it's because it's burning off some of the oil I put on there. Almost as if uh, some of the batteries or some of the motors don't want to go. <coughs> Full time. Or the or the gyros are giving up or something. Like half the issue is the uh, 
Not the issue is that I think the battery is half toast. Yeah. I think the battery's half toast. I'll have to work on that. Anyways, uh, successful fix of the blades anyways, so I'm going to take it in, give it a rest, and uh, that's your Flying Friday video, guys, how to uh, repair your K70C. It's a bit of a hack job with a screw in it, big screw in it, but uh, what are you going to do? It's all part of the fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and we'll uh, be doing some mods, hopefully, to this, making my own quadcopter out of balsa, so stay tuned for that.